pick up the chops, plate it, everything in chunks, and then straight into the dishwasher, and I clean up as I go, as I told you. So right away, I wash my knife, and to keep your knife sharp, you always keep it dry. You wipe it from this side, not this side, with a towel, and put it right back in the, uh, the wood block. Everyone knows that, right? Yeah. You know, I just cleaned that knife and I need it. I need it. But I did clean it. You do want to clean it after. So I guess I'll prepare my lens. Let's see. So I'm going to have two halves so I can squeeze on top of the uh, vegetables. You should always lemon size. I call it lemon size because lemons help you digest everything you need. You know, I'm famous for my vitamins. I don't know how much further I should go with this. <laughs> okay, so lemon size. That's one of my tricks. Now on the plate, I want some garnish, so I'll keep that simple. I'm just going to cut these into wedges. Yep, they're ready. <laughs> um, the good thing about the toaster oven is you don't really have to check behind that little glass door open. You really you smell it when it's ready. All right, these guys are looking really good. You know, the problem is when you open the door, it takes longer. That's the, I did it twice now. <laughs> you, can't, you can't do that. You're, that's how hard that all the time. If you open it and the heat comes up, it's a little warmer. But I just want to see if they're really nice and brown because when I plate these for you, I don't want you to be disappointed like, oh, you know, dead meat. No. It has to look, you know, dead meat has to look attractive, like really brown and sizzling. But nobody, you, you want the pink inside, right? Yeah. Who, who likes your lamb well done? You like it well done or? Sometimes. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. We have the French culinary people over here. Don't say that. Don't say well done, okay? <laughs> when you go to this restaurant, they go. Okay, I'll bring you your steak well done. <laughs> Whoever does that. <laughs> oh, they just look so good. You see how you slide it out, right? Okay. Then you use the tongs. Be careful, guys. Okay? So, when I take it out, put your thingy back in, and get crazy. You see how pretty the, the, the um, lamb chops came out? And I just serve them like that, like I crisscross them. Sometimes I put foil booties on them, the kids like that. I don't know if the men like it so much, but they do, kind of, because the men I know do, because they, they want to just pick them up and eat them. So I put little foil booties. I guess I'll show you the booties out the temperature because the problem with the chest oven it could be uneven in temperature. Hot in the back, cooler in the front, and the trick to that is just to turn the pan around halfway through. But when things are cooking for 10 minutes or 20 minutes, it's not a big deal. You can see uh, the lamb chops in the back are browner than the ones in the front. You see these are browner and these are not. So let me put one out for you to see. So the middle one is a little brown from the back. But the booties are cute, and it's a good idea if the kids want to pick them up and just eat them. They don't want to cut with the knife. And if you're at home, it's just your guy, and he's like, I'm not going to sit here and cut this in front of you. Just you know, these fat asparagus, once you cook them, they shrink down to the size of the other guys. Why don't you just try to skin them? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> All right, now what am I going to do? So, okay, so I just played this like this. Now, on every plate, you should have three colors. That's another little rule. I replayed it because that plate was uh, juicing out. Okay, guys? So I just take the lemon, and I put it over the top of any veggie. So I do Brussels sprouts. You cut them in half. You spray olive oil. and put them on the top rack until they're black. So go. Brussels sprouts. My daughter likes Brussels sprouts. So see, I put the rock salt like that. It just glistens. I put the lemon. Oh. And don't forget the olive oil because that's so good for your skin and it's also good for digestion. Do I talk about the other stuff too much, the digestion? I think I do. Okay. All right, so three colors on your plate. All right, I'm, I'm afraid to tip it, guys, because then it will... Sonia's gonna be sitting around to meet everybody, sign some autographs.